So here's the design that we'll be looking at. It's got two you know, houses, mausoleums on the left hand side with those two uh, kind of totem poles. In the middle there's the pool, uh, the spawning pool, and either side of those are you know, maybe uh, guard posts or kind of totem defenses. And then on the right hand side we've got the main ziggurat with the uh, you know, sacrificial altar on top. I'm going to make it so that that ziggurat, probably the top two layers, can be taken off in, in, so that you can just move this uh, this village around. So that ziggurat could then go maybe in the middle, the pool could go uh, onto the ziggurat, something like that. And again, just to change the uh, the layout of the village around a little bit. Uh, what we've got at the back right there, we've got, I don't know what that is, a, a diadem? something again maybe we can put the sacrificial altar on top of there if we move the village around uh, so we've got some good targets there you know during the game you can either uh, have the target as you know the spawning pool maybe because the village is, looks like it's set up around the spawning pool or again maybe it's to get to the altar uh, at the back there so some of those guard posts could maybe move to the back again to block uh, you know troops being advanced or put the uh, ziggurat in the middle maybe and again so uh, I'm going to make this so we can move things around all of those uh, snake uh, statues as well will be uh, you know made so we can just pop those off not quite sure how we're going to fix them yet but that's the idea of the village a uh, couple of targets that the attackers can go to and the defenders can rally around um, this uh, uh, sketchup file I'll post it somewhere on the internet so you can download it and have a look at it if you like but this is what I do first of all put the sketch up together and then I know all the pieces to cut so I can just get on with the cutting very quickly I know the layout of the village that I want it just makes the process a lot quicker uh, that's the design then so here's what we've got to work with we've got the uh, expanded polystyrene it's not pink or fo uh, blue foam but uh, it's just stuff I scavenged from the bins basically this uh, this stuff here is a little bit more open cell. This is quite dense, this, so it's pretty good for uh, making the bases with. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a section of each of the uh, pieces of polystyrene and just mark on it the inch squares. So yeah, that's what I'm doing at the moment. Just going through and literally marking these up as we go. Can't do it in one hand though. So what we end up with is a set of. Uh, village pieces, what are they called? Model pieces uh, with the inch squares on. So, what I'll eventually do is glue them together and paint them all up as I'm doing here. I actually need to finish them all before I paint them, but that way we'll get the basics uh, for the village. And I'm also going to cut, I think you can see that, little ridges in between each of the uh, you know, sort of masonry squares just to give some extra detail. But the detail on the polystyrene uh, works pretty well actually. I did do one earlier which I'll show you uh, a little later. This by the way is where I'm working. Here is the village that I've made in SketchUp. Uh, so that's what I'm trying to build. I'll show you that properly later. And yes I am working off the kitchen table at the back of my living room. So Kamloopian etc I know you do, but count yourself lucky for the space, man. Let's see if we can try this. So, what I've done here, I've just scored in each of the squares into the polystyrene. And from the list I wrote, we need two 5x4s. So, that's two of those, which is pretty good. I might go on and try and do the rest of them now. But... What we do then is just take the cutting knife. I don't have a, uh, a hot wire, so one, two, three, four, five. What is we four, isn't it? So what I'll do, I'll just use the knife very carefully to saw through each of these uh, sections that we've just drawn out here. And you know, if you can get a, a hot wire knife, go for it. But being in the apartment here means I can't really melt uh, and melt the polystyrene uh, as a hot wire knife does I think so 
the craft knives all the way for me. And just when we get to the end here, what I've done, I've got a little, shoom, a little extra here, so I can get a nice clean cut at the end of this piece. Mm. Yeah, talking about Kamloopian. Oh, I didn't mean Kamloopian before. I meant uh, Terrainaholic, but uh, yeah, they both got some good space, so comment still stands, but uh, Terrainaholic did a lizard village, actually, and we left these grooves uh, pretty tight on the one I did a few uh, months ago. I did them pretty big, a bit too big probably, so I might nick his technique and leave them a bit tighter. Actually, I want cut this one off time. So, so what? Oh, boom. And then, I'll need to cut this section off because it's not very trim. You know, one of the problems with using these blades is they're, they're curved. The blade edge is curved. Yeah, it's got this piece here. So when you're cutting, you need to just constantly think about the alignment of the blade. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not too, you don't have to worry too much, but just want to make sure it's, just, it's as good as you can get it basically because you are spending a lot of time on this so cool next one and yeah get a hot wire cutter that's for sure because you can just have the hot wire here maybe something to keep it flat and just go a lot easier than this but you know this is where a lot of us are at in terms of, oh god, I thought I was cutting a long bit off there. Uh, this is where a lot of us are at in terms of how we're going to have to do the modelling. Felt a bit rough, but no, that's okay. Yeah, cool. Hey everyone, so here is all of the pieces cut out now. We've got, uh, well, we got the larger pieces for the temple itself which will go roughly like that. So we've got the uh, the temple uh, main ziggurat. We've got the kind of houses, which will be something like this. I'm going to just get that right. Uh, 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 which was the other piece? Oh yeah. It's going to be like that, isn't it? There's a quick little bit of a step at the front. So that will give us, if you can see that properly, that will give us a sort of house constructions. There's two of those. And then there's some basic plinths like this. So, that's everything cut out. And now, oh by the way, the reason we use the one inch squares is because our little figures will fit kind of neatly uh, on those one inch squares like that. 